very interesting topic here. Probably a lot of us have used the post-it notes in the pre-pandemic world when we had post-its for sticky notes for everything which we wanted to gather feedback on. And maybe a lot, a lot of you know that when the post-its were created in 1968 by Spencer Silver, the idea for the first time in 1974 by Arthur Fry came where he was using these post-its to serve as a bookmark while he was part of a church choir. 3M in 1980 introduced this post-it product. And in 20, 2021, this year, we have post-its which are sold in hundreds of countries and almost all agile teams who have operated from small startups to large Fortune 50, Fortune 25, Fortune 10 companies use post-its to gather feedback and find out better ways of working. Brooke, can I share a point on that one? Just Absolutely. for awareness, just for the group that he, that's here, that uh, I just happen to have some right here post-its. But do, most people don't know, there's actually a way you're supposed to take a post-it off of the pad. If you slowly peel it up and you get that little bend you're, and you stick it on the wall, it's eventually gonna fall off pretty quickly. What you're supposed to do is pop it off and you're gonna have very much less of a bend and then it's going to stick to whatever surface you put it on for a much longer duration. They've been around forever, but most people don't even know how to use them. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. And just to you know, Brian did a live demonstration. This is not planned. Uh, I've, I've not met Brian. This is the first time I'm talking to him. So this is not planned. It's directly coming from the audience. Thank you so much, Brian, for coming. Just blew my head off live. Just... <laughs> awesome. Which takes us to organizational agility. And Deborah says, good tip, Brian. So she thanks you for that. When we talk about organizational agility, always realize that the customer is supposed to be heart of what we are trying to accomplish. We extend agile to other all groups other than technology, whether it is talent management, finance, HR, anything which is supporting the agile transformation, that's when we add in. We have to embrace adaptive and active planning. Planning is no longer a one and done activity for the whole year. More and more organizations who are successful today have utilized the techniques of monthly planning, quarterly planning, which allows them to course correct based on feedback from the market rhythms and demands. Always value customer outputs, customer, customer outcomes. It's all about giving people a chance to speak, listening to them and building organizations. Which then takes us to our final point, number seven. We have talked at length in the last hour about why Agile is all about individual interactions. But the important piece is metrics are critical. But agility in metrics is even more vital for us to succeed. Focusing only on metrics without care for people and sustainability will not let us be successful. When we think about what metrics to measure agility, think about how we are measuring value, how we're defining what our customers need. And as an organization, we value qualitative metrics over quantitative metrics. As an organization, we value actionable metrics over vanity metrics. We value leading metrics over lagging metrics. Everything which allows us to take better decisions, improve our decision-making framework are things we should care about. Everything which tells us about the customer challenges, customer issues, customer feedback are things we should be focused on. And that's what will allow us to really look at it from an overall perspective. Right from individual contributors to number of servers we have, to cost per transaction, to things like mean time to recover, mean time to service, mean time to delivery, mean time to value, to organizational effectiveness, which includes things like skills growth, average tenure of people, the retention rate, the morale of individuals, towards customer value, number of releases being created, number of new products rolled out, to the organizational highest level metrics, cash flow earnings, market acquisition, stocks exchange rates, new business service enablement. Metrics are critical. And nobody here is saying that we need to get away from metrics as coaches and agile leaders. 
lots of options are available for us how to measure roi how we look at customer in terms of producing churn acquiring new customers customer satisfaction increasing revenue from new offerings building up on our profit and last but not least the goal is to build successful products and services for our to wow our customers when i end up the last few minutes with identifying that innovation is the key to success sometimes when you innovate you do make mistakes it's okay it's best to admit them quickly and then get on with finding and improving other innovations the worst thing we can do is not to challenge on how we operate the worst thing we can do is to sit back and say everything is okay because it is not so seven things which we talked about to bring the people focus back focus on customer agility build up strong teams by focusing on delivery utilize best technical practices to remove the organizational silos implement agility at the portfolio level as people focus is not only at the individual contributor level bring all these things at the org level together by having people agility think of an organization as a large ship moving in a certain direction thousands of people working together and then how we really make that ship be lean and nimble and last but not least use the metrics to build a better platform a better way of operating model Thank you.